the oyster is the keystone species environmentally for the for all the estuaries in the world. Um, it is the world's kidneys, uh, the water's kidneys, and without a healthy oyster population, we'll never have a healthy ecosystem. The key to the future of our seafood industry in the state of Maryland on the Chesapeake Bay is going to be aquaculture. We've got to rebuild a new foundation um, starting with the oyster as we did in the beginning um, at the time of the settlers coming on the Chesapeake Bay and the oyster industry has got to have a new day, a new life and um, this is what oyster aquaculture is going to do. Once we get a new industry around oyster aquaculture then we'll be able to reset balances across our entire seafood industry and once again lead the world in seafood production here in the state of Maryland. We developed an entire line to grade the oyster starting with what we call the singulator which starts with a feed conveyor um, that is self-loading. It's got a vibrator that goes off every so many seconds so that the oysters continue to feed into the belt. Once they feed into the next unit, it's called a singulator. We destabilize the oyster in a spinning tube the oyster flips around until it comes to four points on its flat side inside of that tube and then makes its way down that tube so that the laser can get a true scan on the oyster to really see its three dimensions. Once the scanner scans the oyster, according to the parameters that we actually program into the computer system, a series of air jets actually reads when to fire according to the scan and then fires the oyster off into a box, counts it, and then it's sorting from one air jet to the other as the count reaches its maximum per box. At that point in time, they will be bagged and then put into a tank where we'll actually soak them into our salting system for six to eight hours where they'll gain the extra salt and create that perfect flavor profile before going to market. Laura um, Thomas is, is a very important part of our company at this point. She's a graduate level student um, working on her master's degree through Horn Point, a lab up at the University of Maryland um, Hatchery. We'll need this type of education to carry on the biology that's required to make larvae and to make the algae that we need for our, our nursery and our hatchery processes. So it's very exciting to be working with young people like Laura to really take this entire industry to a new level that it's never been before. My message to, to the oyster eaters of the world is just eat, just keep eating oysters.